guys, it's Chris Akers Briar, and today I'm going to be talking about how to go on a Briar photo shoot, how to, I guess, how to take Briar pictures that look very realistic. Okay, so to pack your ponies, you're gonna need pony pouches. Um, this is my favorite way to pack. Um, pony pouches are little pouches that are sewn from a lot of material. Uh, I made this gray one, and I made the red one too, but I really like the gray one. They are very thick, um, and they can put your horses inside of them, and you can pack them together, and they won't get scratched. And I like putting them in bags together, but I only have I've only made some for stable mates. So like I have two, I have stable mates in each and you can like put them together and they won't be scratched since there's so, ma so much material in between them. But this does not prevent it from breaking. I usually put my pony pouches in baskets as laundry baskets or wagons. You wanna make sure that your horses try not to touch each other. You just see, they're all not like, they're all away from each other. This is the place that I take pictures. It's just a little trail in my backyard, so we have 19 acres. It's a lot of beautiful, yeah, a lot of beautiful landscape. And the trail goes on for a pretty long time kind of dark back there. Um, yeah, next I'll show you the field. So I'm in the deeper part of the forest. There's a lot of mud because it rained yesterday. Um, this part's pretty muddy. Like, yeah, I can like mold the mud. It's kind of gross, so we've got golf carts stuck back here. So there's a little field right here. Pretty cool. But then here's the actual field. This field goes on for a pretty long time. There's a tiny little hill, hill over there. These are the neighbor's property. There's a tiny little hill, and then behind that hill is um, another field. Here's the forest. And then my house is right like right over there behind the forest. There's the horses over there, but oh wait. They're the neighbors. Hi. Okay, so when you're taking a picture of a model horse, you want to make sure, like, here's some tips. If your horse is glossy, don't put it in the sun so you can see all the glossiness and everything reflect, reflects off of it. Like Ferrano here, she is glossy. She's super glossy, and whenever I put her in her sun, um, she always reflects off the plants, and usually horses don't reflect off the plants. And so you want to try to make your photo as realistic as possible, like if you're going for that realistic thing. So um, you don't want to have like a just a picture like of the horse. Like you don't want to like like picture horse done. You want to make your horse like you want to make it interesting. Like put your horse off to the side or something, or like take picture of its legs or like take picture of its tail. Do like little tiny features that normally a person wouldn't want to take. Here's another tip. Don't take pictures of your models like from above because that makes them look really, really small. You want to either take them from like their level or like lower, like right here. Because if you take it from above, they look very small and they look very unrealistic. Like if I just took this picture, I wouldn't I wouldn't really think that's good. So you wanna take it from either their level or like shorter. And one one main thing is to make sure your horse is focused. I know cameras, like expen expensive cameras or something, or like an actual camera, not like your phone. Usually those, um, they take a while to fo focus because my camera focuses more on the like plants than the horse because the horse is kind of tiny compared to the humongous trees behind it. So you want to try your hardest to focus on the horse, not the plants. Otherwise, you can't really see the horse. And then what's the what's the purpose of looking at the photo? 
Also, here's another good tip. Um, try to take pictures with where it's like most desirable. Like if you just put your horse, like put it like right next to a tree, that's like boring. Like if you take a picture like that, um, I wouldn't really like that. <laughs> um, or you like put your horse next to like a hay bale. A hay bale is like one solid color, it's like all yellow. So that wouldn't be very pretty. Like people who want to show off the horse not the background, they usually put it in like a white background or like a colored background. Um, there's a lot of Instagram accounts that do that to like show off their collection. But um, if you're doing realistic photography, you want to like put it near a background that's like most desirable, like a couple of plants, or you want to put like sticks in the background or like there's water in the background, or it's like bokeh in the background. Not just like, like a tree. Don't put it like next to a tree. <laughs> Don't do a picture of like a messy background with like dirt in it. That's kind of boring. Here's another good tip. Um, like my horse is like literally stepping on humongous leaves. Like horses aren't that small compared to leaves. So you want to try to remove all large objects near it, like humongous acorns, to make it look unrealistic. I mean, you can put them in the background just as long as they look realistic to the horse. Oh, that horse Winnie did it just scared me. That looks more realistic. And um, for stable mates and like paddock pals, or like micro minis, I guess. Um, they take a while to focus. Um, sometimes they never do focus. So here's some like tips. Okay, so first one is to like put your hand over the lens and then take it off and let it refocus. Or here's another tip, like try to move like the angle or you're, you might be like zooming in too much. Um, you gotta get like the right zooming in and like focus spot and each horse has their own focus spot um, it's just because like the um, the way they're like trotting or cantering or rearing up or something just the, the way how they're like sculpted I guess with ho horses with mo or horses with stands um, like this totalos or totilus um, resin the briar resin um, it has a stand on the bottom so I always take pictures from like from its feet up so that I try not to get the stand in because the stand, if you include the stand in the picture, kind of looks unrealistic, I guess. Gallery of all my pictures, I post them on my Instagram, crazy.acres.briar. Um, but I also, at the end of every month, I forgot last month, but at the end of every month, I will make a briar photography video, a, like briar photography September 2016, which will be this month. Um, that just showcases all of my pictures I took this month or the past month I guess after September ends. Thank you for watching my how to make briar photos realistic. Um, you can comment, subscribe, and like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!